In this video, we're taking a look at AMC. Now, having previously covered AMC here on the channel, I'm more than prepared for the barrage of negative comments that are probably gonna hit after this video. So if you're currently invested in AMC purely for the short squeeze play, then this video is definitely not for you. You're probably best off closing this video and heading along to another channel where they completely and utterly ignore the fundamentals. However, if you are interested in the dynamics at play behind the stock, as well as understanding the fundamentals behind the company, then this video is definitely gonna help you. So that said, let's jump in and take a look. Before we get into it, if you can just very quickly click that like button to help support this channel, we really would appreciate it. And if this is your first time here and you haven't subscribed, consider clicking the subscribe button down below. So taking a look at the gains on the stock price this year, the stock being up more than 1,974% over the course of this year, it is pretty hard to have a rational discussion with anybody who's been invested in AMC because honestly speaking, the returns have been nothing short of miraculous and completely out of this world. The fact of the matter is, the one thing we always talk about here on the channel is that once sentiment moves off from a stock, is that the stock price will more often than not fall back to really reflect what the true value of the company is. And this is one of the reasons why, despite the huge popularity in these meme stocks and the short squeeze plays, we really still do rely heavily on fundamental analysis. And as I said in the intro, if you are one of those moon boys who are purely in it for the short squeeze play, then this video is probably not gonna make any sense to you. However, if you really wanna understand the dynamics at play here, which is of course the risk factors involved, then you definitely wanna watch this video all the way to the end. Now, looking at that stock price, like I said, it has been a big return for them. And we can see over the last five years, if we zoom out, the stock price really didn't do much until the short squeeze play kicked in in the latter part of 2020, heading into 2021. Now, some of the big factors at play at the moment, of course, is a lot of people asking, what is the big potential coming out from the Q3 earnings results that are out today? What is gonna happen with the AMC stock going forward? Of course, there are big promises being made by the CEO. He himself has said that they never expected this kind of thing to happen to them. This was a business that was in deep trouble, not only because of COVID, but prior to COVID, they were having some serious financial issues. And COVID really was just the nail in the coffin. It really highlighted the deep, deep problems within the business. And failing to be able to get those bums on seats during COVID really just was a big problem for AMC. However, along came Wall Street bets, along came the short squeeze play, and really helped the company stay on its feet. But that being said, the company still hasn't produced any significant revenue. And of course, a lot of analysts talking about the fact that uh, AMC is going to have to pivot quite drastically over the next couple of years to really bring themselves into the future and start making money. Now, with today's Q3 results due to come out today, a lot of people anticipating that they might actually start making some money. There might actually be some significant revenues on the table. I personally don't know what's gonna come out from those earnings results, uh, but I don't think it's gonna be anything too significant. And so one of the factors that a lot of people are talking about is the fact that AMC is heavily reliant on blockbuster films. Those blockbuster films obviously gonna be driving bums to seats, and those really haven't happened over the course of 2021. There have been very few blockbuster movies that have really attracted the audience. The second thing, of course, is the fact that there has been the resurgence of the Delta variant. This has, of course, further slowed down potential growth. And then there is the bizarre fact that uh, AMC is looking to pivot their business into the popcorn business of all things. Now, whether or not that is a good play remains to be seen. Frankly speaking, once again, I think this is AMC clutching at straws. I think they'd probably be better off doing something a lot more dynamic. And I think leading the way for them is probably GameStop. I think if they had to really focus in on what GameStop is doing, then there is a potential to revitalize this business. If you're interested in what I'm talking about, definitely go back on the channel and check out the review I did on GameStop and why I said that I think potentially GameStop might actually surprise a lot of people. But when it comes to AMC, I don't see anything dynamic happening within the business right now. 
And for all of those reasons, I think that, that AMC is still gonna be under a lot of pressure going forward. Now, some of the other big things that people are talking about is the fact that AMC stock will eventually slip as retail investors start to cash out and move on. Now, this is something we've spoken on quite intensively here on the channel. We've discussed on many occasions how we personally believe that sentiment will move on from a stock, and when that sentiment moves on, the stock price is ultimately gonna reflect what the company's worth. And a lot of analysts are talking about this at the moment. And I gotta say, I absolutely agree with those sentiments. Now also just looking at some of the analyst predictions at the moment, and of course looking to uh, places like Simply Wall Street, we can see that some of the sentiments around the stock are not entirely justified. And that is because shareholders have continued to be diluted over the course of this year. There is of course negative shareholders equity, the company isn't profitable and isn't forecast to become profitable over the next three years. And even that I think is possibly a stretch. And then there's added to this the fact that the price has been very, very volatile over the last three months as there's been this constant push and pull on the short squeeze play. Now also just looking ahead towards past performance, we can see that the company has currently performed at negative 72% growth over the last five years, year on year. And that of course, is a very troubling trend. That is something that we've really got to, we've got to see AMC do something big to change this. And frankly speaking, I don't see any signs of life there. Now, this is of course where we come back to the logics of the stock. This is where we lean in on the fundamentals, where we take a look at those all important factors that really are what buying a stock is about. This is about what is the value of the company in relation to the stock? What is the potential future value of the company in relation to the stock? So first of all, like we see, there has been an absolutely insane movement this year on the stock price. That, of course, is entirely down to the fact that this has been a short squeeze play. Wall Street bets versus the hedge funds really playing out quite drastically over this year. And as we've seen, 72.62 on the high, 191 on the low. This is, of course, over the last 52 weeks. And if we come down to the stock overview sheet, I mean, just absolutely beyond comprehension, the stock is sitting with a market cap of 21 billion. This is with uh, 10 year pricing at 1968, the current price trading at 41.70, no P ratio, of course, because there's no profit, there's no profit margin on the table. And as I mentioned, negative equity at 2.8 billion. And uh, this means that there is a negative equity to market cap of negative 13%. No dividend, of course, on this, so no dividend cost to company, and thank God for that because there is negative free cash flow of negative 1.3 billion. This is a business that is just hemorrhaging cash faster than it can issue more shares. And so one has to say, out of all the meme stocks that have been chosen this year, this has got to be the red-headed stepchild of all the meme stocks at the moment. Now, coming down to the key ratios, debt to equity, I mean, <laughs> it's, it's, it's almost laughable to even look at these numbers. Negative 459% uh, debt to equity. If we have a look at free cash flow to debt, negative uh, 10%. They cannot even cover 1% of their debt with equity. Um, in terms of their free cash flow, it's completely and utterly flat. Price to book sitting at 13.6, price to sell at 0.18, the beta sitting at 1.3. Insiders currently hold 0.32% of all shares. I gotta say, those insiders have got big guns for holding onto this stock because honestly speaking, I think this stock is so overvalued, it's not even funny. They should have cashed out their shares and they should have run for the hills. Uh, institutional investment is sitting at 26%, again, absolutely unbelievable. The short ratio has actually come down quite a bit, 18.03% with a short ratio of 1.86. Now moving on to the year on years, look, the story is right here in the number of shares outstanding. There has been such major shareholder dilution over the course of the last two years. It has been absolutely insane. And of course, this has been a big part of the Twitter discussions that have been going on with the CEO. These short squeak players have been saying to the CEO, listen, we've put our trust in the stock, we have put our money into the stock, and we are trusting that you're not gonna dilute us any further. Well, that has continued to happen. So 
That is a story all in itself. Coming down to the total assets, we can see that's pretty much sideways for the last, uh, <laughs> for the last three years. Um, liabilities have gone up quite dramatically. And then of course, the big one, equity has continued to decline year on year for the last three years. Now, coming across to revenues, this is where the real story is. Revenues have been declining every single year. Gross profits, pretty much the same picture. Operating income, the same picture. And net income, although it has had huge improvements over the last trading 12 months, it is still in the red. It is in the red to the tune of negative 2.762 billion. That's right, negative 2.762 billion. And that of course translates directly into the operating cash flows and free cash flows, which are completely and utterly in the red. Now, this is the part that the short squeeze players absolutely hate. This is our 12 point fundamental checklist. This is the checklist we use to look at every single stock. This is how we determine whether there is growth, whether there is value. And of course, all of these questions collectively give us a score to point us in a direction. So coming down and looking at this fundamental checklist, this is pretty much how we're coming out. In terms of the share price, it definitely does have momentum. And that is, of course, thanks to the short squeeze play. The PE ratio, well, it is non-existent, so we have to mark them down. They have no profit margin, so that's another mark against them. And of course, there's negative equity, so that's another mark against them. The fact that they don't currently pay a dividend, by default, the dividend cash is less than free cash flow, so we are basically giving them the check mark there by default. When it comes to everything else on the key revenue indicators, and of course here we're talking about a number of shares outstanding, there's been dilution, total revenue hasn't been growing, gross profit hasn't been growing, operating income hasn't been growing, net income hasn't been growing, operating cash flow hasn't been growing, and free cash flow hasn't been growing. My goodness, this is just an absolute dog of a stock from the fundamentals. Now, coming down to the verdict, you can see that it only meets 17% of our criteria, 75% of our criteria not being met. Now, the industry analysts have the stock pegged at five bucks, which <laughs> honestly speaking, I don't often agree with the analysts, but I gotta tell you, looking at the fundamental analysis, looking at the true intrinsic value of the company, I gotta tell you, five bucks is about the best I can come up with. And so this would represent a potential loss of 88%. Now, I know what a lot of people are gonna say, how in the hell can the stock fall back to five bucks? How can you have a five buck evaluation out on a company that is currently trading at many, many, many multiples above that? Well, the bottom line is this. There is so much sentiment in the stock at the moment based on the short squeeze play. When that sentiment moves on, this company would be lucky to be worth five bucks a share. And if you think the sentiment can't move on, I assure you that money will move when the markets turn. And we are at a critical crossroad at the moment. And I feel so sorry for so many people that have invested their life savings into this, that have absolutely YOLO'd their investments into AMC, that have thrown all their savings and their faith into this company based on this Wall Street bets play. Now, I gotta tell you, do I agree with the Wall Street bets play? Do I think that they've done an incredible thing? Do I think that there is a whole new debate that has opened up because of this? And has there been some very unscrupulous action by the hedge funds that have been exposed? Check, 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 and yes to all of those. But here's the bottom line. You certainly should not be investing your life savings into something like this, because if you do, you're an idiot and you're gonna get burnt. I'm gonna say it again, and I know I'm gonna offend some people, but you're an idiot and you're gonna get burnt. Just have a look at this. And this is where really you need to understand things. This company currently has a market cap of 21 billion. If we take a multiple of free cash flow, which is currently in the red, that means they are not making money. In reality, this company is worth negative 26 billion. Now, I know this is not something that people wanna hear. I know that this is gonna ruffle a lot of feathers. I know that people are gonna disagree with what I have to say, but here's the bottom line. If a company is not making money, if a company is not producing profit and the share price is going up, 
you got to understand what you're investing into is a casino stock. You need to understand what you're investing into is sentiment. And when that sentiment moves on, and it will, there is no question in my mind that people are going to get burnt. And as much as I would like to see this be a positive outcome for the company, a positive outcome against the hedge funds, a positive outcome for the retail investors, guys, it is not logical. It is not it is not realistic to believe that this kind of nonsense is going to succeed long term. The fact of the matter is, if you're going to do a short squeeze play, go and find companies that have intrinsic value. Go and find companies that are undervalued. Go and find companies where the hedge funds truly have it wrong. Here, the hedge funds have it right. This company is not investable and it is going to cost you your money, if not your life savings. I hope this video helped you. Thank you for watching this video. If you'd like to see more content like this, check out this video next. And if you do have any questions or comments, let me know in the comment section down below. And if you have not already subscribed to our channel, click on the subscribe button down below now.